This is Drosa grama galensis, and it's by far my favorite center that I'm growing right now, mostly because of its beautiful red leaf coloration. You can get a little idea here of what I'm talking about, but I've seen pictures from other growers where under bright enough light intensity, the newest leaves will even develop a, just a vibrant red color, and that's pretty neat to see. I also really like the leaf structure, which somewhat resembles Drosera ascendens, but the, the leaf lamina is pretty wide, and that gives it a, a bit of a unique structure too. I also like how large this sundew can get. Um, compared to other sundew, sundews, it really is pretty large, um, such as like a Drosera natalensis or um, Colensiae. It really um, it almost reaches three inches in diameter, and here's a little comparison with a quarter. Also, I'm impressed with how heat tolerant this sundew is. In, compared to, in comparison with like other uh, South American species, Drosera gramaglensis is able to handle warmer temps quite well. I'm growing it now in the cooler basement down here, um, which allows it to get um, a, a bit more vigorous growth during the summer months, which are normally a bit too much for South American Sundays, but um, I grew it in a bit warmer conditions and it, it really plugged away. Um, I've heard varying success rates if you use live sphagnum um, to help out during the warm months, but um, other growers that I've seen have used peat and sand and have reported that they actually have temperatures are in the near 90 degrees Fahrenheit and they still will do quite well if they have a nightly temperature drop. Um, I really like how well this plant is able to tolerate lower humidity as well. You can see over here that the struggling Drosera ascendens back in this pot back here, I've had to coat it with saran wrap to keep up the humidity, but um, Drosera germalensis has not needed this and continues to grow quite nicely without any additional humidity. As you can see, I actually am surprised to see a new flower uh, scape emerging from the center. Um, I've never had this plant flower for me over the two years that I've had it, so that's pretty exciting. I may end up trimming it though because I've heard reports from other growers that this species does not self-pollinate very readily. Even if assisted, um, it has a very low seed set, and this is probably a mechanism in the wild to ensure genetic diversity. Um, so, really the only methods that I'm going to be able to use to propagate this, since I only have one clone of this, is to propagate with leaf cuttings and through root cuttings. Originally, leaf cuttings were thought to be impossible, but after the um, suggestion of another grower, I tried out some leaf cuttings and actually had some quite good success with them. You can get a little view of them in this propagation tub here. Um, but these are about six to eight months old from... Um, a few leaf cuttings that I took a while back, and I was actually able to get nearly 20 plantlets to grow, uh, sprout from one leaf. Uh, over a while, or after a while, they kind of fight each other over, and um, some will win out. So you end up with probably five or so plants from each leaf eventually, but or or a little more than this if you take extra care. But uh, root cuttings are also a very viable means of producing more plants, and as you can see in this tall pot I have, the roots. Um, at one time, we're actually extending through, like, at the bottom of the pot. So, very extensive root system, which allows this plant to um, obtain moisture, uh, even in times of a bit times of drought. And so, it makes it pretty adaptable. Um, I've heard great success. This plant is growing in live sphagnum, but um, with a top coating of peat and sand. But I've I've heard great reports, um, like I mentioned, with other growers. Um, especially in cooler temperatures that use peat and sand, and they, they really look incredible, these specimens that I've seen from other growers. So, highly recommend the sundew. We're doing our best to spread it around, and hopefully it'll be available to you soon.